Welcome back to the channel, I'm Matt, I'm the Whiskey Nerd, and while you might not have heard of this whiskey, it can definitely compete with some of the biggest names on the market. So let me get it into the glass and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. This is the Black Cask Whiskey from West Cork Irish Whiskey. West Cork Irish Whiskey is of course from Ireland, and they're an interesting, maybe kind of smaller brand. Not many people have heard about it outside of Ireland. They have been producing some very good stuff, but they're just a kind of a smaller brand, but that doesn't mean they're actually a very micro distillery. They are actually the largest privately owned, Irish owned distillery in Ireland. So they are a nice independent operation. They've been making a lot of good whiskey for a good while. Their entry level whiskey, the bourbon cask whiskey, is a very nice Irish blended whiskey, but this is the black cask, and it's just a slight step up from that. It's definitely a much more premium whiskey and it delivers a whole load more flavor. This has been aged for three years in first fill bourbon casks, which is gonna give you this really nice, rich, dense, vanilla, syrupy sweetness to it. And it was finished for one year in extra heavily charred, so char level number five, first fill bourbon casks. So again, giving you all that sweetness, giving you all that strength, while just giving you a bit of extra char from the oak, a bit of extra kind of dense flavor coming through there and just trying to deliver a very good whiskey. This is, interestingly enough, priced at around the same price, maybe a little bit cheaper than other blends on the market, like uh, Jameson Black Barrel or the Teeling Small Batch Blend. So it is a good whiskey, it's just a little bit lower price than those, so it's a little bit more accessible for most people. That doesn't really mean, though, that it's a bad whiskey. It is a blended whiskey, so it's about 66% grain and 34% malted barley. So it does have a nice bit of malted barley in there, but it's again going to be leading up with that grain sweetness. It does come in at 40% ABV, so it won't deliver a huge amount of weight, but it will be a nice, drinkable, approachable whiskey. So let's go in for the nose on the West Cork Black Cask. Okay, off the bat, you get, of course you're gonna get vanilla. The vanilla will be one of the strongest notes you get off this, but I'm definitely getting a nice bit of oak char coming through. Definitely coming through from that charred cask, that extra charred cask. You get a little bit of that oak spice, but again, leading with that oak char, that nice, almost smoky kind of oak char. There's also some kind of honey coming through, a nice bit of kind of banana, but like a, a caramelized banana, like a nice rounded out caramel banana. And that's probably coming through from that malt inclusion. Like it does have a nice amount of maltiness coming through. I wouldn't say that the maltiness is very present on the nose. It's more coming through in that kind of caramel, dense kind of sweetness. Definitely caramel, brown sugar, and that kind of banana-y note. I wouldn't say I'm getting any kind of other fruity notes. I mean, normally that kind of orange peel note, you get it when there's a sherry aging inclusion. I wouldn't say there's any real citrusy fruit coming through. It's again just those sweet, lower sweet fruits. I am getting a touch of nuttiness. Maybe not like a peanut, but like a hazelnut, kind of almost uh, that kind of nuttiness coming through. Just nice and light, but definitely leading with the vanilla, caramel, oak char up front. So let's go in for the palate and see how it delivers. Oh, that hits you right up front with vanilla. Again, vanilla, like I said, it's going to be one of the strongest notes you get off here. And that oak char comes through, oak spice, a little bit of peppery spices coming through, caramel, toffee, a little bit of banana, not too much. It's much more into that sweetness, the brown sugar, bit of spiciness coming through. Mm, a very kind of creamy mouthfeel. From the nose, I was expecting it to be maybe a bit more honeyed, a bit more dense it's more of a creamy feeling. So it's not like completely mouth coating, it's just nice and kind of smoothed out and rounded out. Maybe that's because of coming in at 40% ABV. Maybe if it was a slightly higher ABV, it would have had more of that honeyed mouthfeel, but it's definitely a nice creamy mouthfeel. So I'm gonna go in again and see what else I can find. Mm, that creaminess comes through almost like, a, almost like a milk chocolate with some hazelnuts in it. So if you can imagine caramelized hazelnuts, milk chocolate, nice and sweet, nice and kind of rich. And then there's a bit of oak smoke there coming through at the back. It does though lead up front with that caramel, with that brown sugar, with that vanilla, nice and sweet and very, very approachable. So I'm gonna go in again, but we're gonna talk about the finish. Okay, that creaminess 
definitely hanging on. The sweetness does fade away relatively quickly, letting that oak spice, letting that kind of oak smoke come up front. But the creaminess hangs on. So it's almost like, um, almost like a coffee, like a latte, where you get that bit of spice, that bit of bitterness, rounded out by that creamy milk. It's actually quite nice. It's medium long, like I'm still tasting it, and getting that oak spice still hanging on, but it's not very strong. It's more of a very light, but long enough of a finish. As it fades off, as it ends off, getting a touch of pepper coming through, and again, just that nice creamy milk chocolate, toffee, just nice rounded out sweet notes. And that's I think what they were going for with this blend, like they were hoping to get a whiskey that would be nice, approachable and sweet, that would be a step up from the kind of entry level blends they produce, but also just nice and approachable. Like I said, it does come in at a relatively affordable price. It is cheaper than the Jameson Black Barrel and I think this does deliver more sweetness than the Jameson Black Barrel does. The Black Barrel might have a bit more of the oak char coming through, but depending on what you're looking for, this is actually a very nice, very good whiskey that you should look out for. It would also, I imagine, do pretty well in cocktails because it's got a nice base of flavor, but it's not, it doesn't taste cheap. So it doesn't taste like, you know, you can taste the high grain alcohol with that ethanol note. It probably doesn't need too much of a mixer. It could stand up pretty well to something like an old fashioned, to a, a whiskey sour, something like that, where you can let the whiskey shine through and you're not trying to hide the whiskey. What do you think? Have you ever had the West Cork Black Cask or have you ever had anything else from West Cork? Do you think they produce some good kind of mid-range blends or do you think I have it completely wrong? Let me know down in the comments below. I put out whiskey reviews every Wednesdays and cocktail recipes every Friday. So subscribe, you'll see more and I'll see you next time. Sláinte.